Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter, and in today's video we're going to have a little catch up. Alright, so in today's video we're going to do a little catch up with Callum, and I'm going to let you know what's been going on. So, it's that time of year again. It's the time of year where everyone my age is stressed out about exams, and no one really wants to do anything but hobby, but in reality, they have to revise. So I've been very busy with school work and that, or uni work, I should say. So that has eaten into a lot of hobby time, which has been a real shame because I've really been enjoying the hobby. Um, now that doesn't mean I haven't done any because hey, everyone's got to rest, right? So what have I been up to lately from the hobby? Well, I have, I'm very, very close to painting all my Space Marines. <laughs> I am working on some Honor Guard and then they're done. Uh, I, well, I mean, I say they're done. That's not true. So what I'm actually working on. So I've painted up one honor guard already. Uh, I now need to do four more. I did him as a test model. I was really pleased. So now I can attack all four in a batch painting method. Uh, I have next to me here a couple of wonderful um, land speeder storms. So you may well be familiar with the fact that I love scouts and land speeders. So here is one scouty land speeder, 90% painted. And uh, I did say I was starting on another one. And I'll just bring that into view. There we go. This is the other one. I have modelled them differently. You'll notice some major differences when you actually get a closer look. Um, but I just wanted a bit of variance on the table because no one likes looking at the same model, you know, four or five times, which is what I'd like to build to eventually. Um, so I've got those on the go. I've got the Honor Guard. And I have one more purchase to make for that Space Marine Army to pretty much get it to 1850. Now, not quite true because I do want to get two more librarians on a bike so I can run a Librarius Conclave all on bikes. Um, the reason being, Hargo Harewood looks awesome. Uh, and I obviously haven't shown you him yet. Oh, wow, I need to do that actually. Um, I have finished up another custom character, two in fact, that I haven't officially shown you. So I need to get to work. Um, now, one of them is really gold, and the other one is really black. So I have finished my Chaplain, Dorgon Tavarius, and I have finished Hargo Harewood uh, with one weapon option that I have magnetized his force weapons because you never know what you're going to want to take. Um, so yes, the Space Marines are well underway, and I would say you'll be seeing some battle reports in the summer, possibly up to 2,000 points if I can stretch it. Um, obviously, Dark Angels have all been left at home, so they are getting a little bit sad. I am thinking of painting out my Tech Marine as a Dark Angel Tech Marine because I don't really want to have him in my Space Marine list, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, as for the other projects, Age of Sigma, that has been so on my mind lately. All I've been doing is reading up and watching Age of Sigma, and I painted like 16 dryads in a couple of days. I was so excited um, to get my hands on them, and then I've still got a couple of Glade Guard that need finishing. Uh, all on the shelf over there, just here, we see the Space Marines sort of taken up to uh, there, and a bit of AOS on the end. Uh, but I am super excited by Age of Sigma. Harry and I are going to be playing some games over the summer with the different battle plans. Hopefully we'll be able to split an Age of Sigma starter set box and paint a half each. Uh, I will take the Stormcast to mix in with my Glade Guard. Uh, I'm going to be, oh my Glade Guard, my Wood Elves or Wanderers or whatever. And they're going to be really foresty themed. Uh, and then Harry will obviously take the Bloodbound to mix in with his Warriors of Chaos. So uh, some potentially exciting stuff from Age of Sigma coming over the uh, summer. Obviously it's about a month until I'm home again, uh, which is, I'm recording this on the 22nd, 23rd. So uh, a month from today I'll be home. It's probably going to go up in a few days, so it's not going to be that outdate, outdated. But um, yeah, lots of exciting stuff to come for that. In terms of other gaming systems I want to play over the summer with Harry, we have taken a brief look at Ninth, Ninth Age, and uh, I am super excited about that. Obviously, you will have seen the Rank and File video. Um, that was recorded a while ago, and I got really, really excited by it all that I was, I was just reading constantly, and I just really, really wanted to uh, have a bunch of miniatures so I could just get out all the trays and you know start playing. But that realistically has to wait till the summer. Um, with which obviously a lot of my plans and ideas are going to be built towards the summer so Harry and I can play a load of games, record them all, spread them out over the year. Um, I've set some personal channel stretch goals uh, because I think it's important to have a goal. Uh, I had a low, medium and high and then I can you know tick it off when I get there and be like yes good on to the next one because I do want to take this channel up and up. Um, I'm really really excited by all the projects uh, I love this hobby. 
I love this community and to be able to be a part of that is fantastic. Uh, so from the painting stats standpoint, Space Marines are 90% done. The Wood Elves are 90% done, but I haven't really bought much. Um, Eldar has stalled because I was supposed to have 10 bases arrive and they haven't arrived. And uh, I really need to get on that because they're supposed to arrive at the end of February. So I need to email Element Games, basically. Uh, I think they did say it was they were having problems with the product, so they didn't ship it out in the end. Um, I didn't check whether I got refunded or not, which I should have. So I'm going to be doing that in a week or two, uh, once the exams have kind of blown over. Um, other stuff that's been going on, let's see. In the hobby in general, uh, I have been, yeah, like I said, really excited by the fantasy side of stuff. Um, I have been reading and watching Ninth Age and a bit of Kings of War, but again, that's much less of an interest. Uh, the Mantic Miniatures, I think, are kind of cool. Some of them look pretty awesome, so I might be uh, delving into some of those at some point in the future. As for building up these Ninth Age, ninth age armies, uh, Harry and I have had some really cool ideas, including a buy, paint, and play in a day. Oh, sorry, build bay. Oh, words. Build, paint, and play in a day. Uh, where we're basically going to try and build paint, build and paint 1,000 points of two separate armies and get them on the table for a game that evening. Now, I know that that might seem kind of outrageous because, let's face it, uh, when it comes to painting stuff, some people can only, well, including me, I'm struggling on like 40 points of land speeder right now. Uh, that's taken me too long. So to, point a to paint 1,000 points of uh, my army, which will be dwarves, in a, in a day, and build them might be asking too much. Now it is technically only 42 models. Uh, 20 of those look the same, 20 of the other ones look the same. So yeah, batch painting is gonna be definitely a thing. Um, and there's not a lot of posability. I am gonna try and sort some customization out, but the whole army, brand new, is gonna cost me 15 pounds. Uh, so you can tell the quality of images aren't fantastic, but it's going to give Harry and I the opportunity to play a new game, collect a new army, and try something different, especially this challenge. I'm super excited. Imagine trying to paint 42 miniatures in a day from on the sprue, basically. Uh, so I am super excited about that. Uh, other stuff that's been going on, well, like I said, exams have taken up a lot of my time, so the hobby element has not been as much as I've wanted it to be. I've tried to make the most of the time I do have. So like I said, Space Marine's done to 90%, Wood Elves are doing nicely, lots of plans for the summer, lots of things to look forward to, battle reports left, right and centre. So uh, from the hobby side and from the personal life side, that's everything. Um, in terms of other channel things, I think Harry is looking to do a bit more content, which is fantastic because we love seeing obviously more of him, don't we all? Uh, who doesn't want more Harry in their life? Um, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Ah, actually, on the note of subscribe, uh, I think it's kind of awesome that the subscriber competition is finished and how fantastic was it? It was brilliant to see so many entries. Obviously, the winner has been announced if you haven't seen already. Um, go back and check that video out in the archives. But um, yeah, sorry, obviously, I've got like a, a mind like a goldfish. So <laughs> my mind is do 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 all over the place. Uh, I would like to say thank you all for taking part. Uh, during that it was fantastic to see such a great response so rapid as well uh, and we gained about 40 subscribers from it so fairly good <laughs> anyway like i said two links in the description below uh first is the tabletop matter blog go check it out i'm sure harry will have a couple more things up there soon and the second is to the legion games of facebook page obviously worth checking out some great content from some absolutely great guys uh it's been me kind of from tabletop banter don't forget have fun